So if we just go ahead and grab a plain normal uh -huh. minifig and start stretching out the torso with the legs, then put the arms back on it, we just invented the extra thick minifig. And oh boy, is he wide. Like nearly three minifigs wide, actually. This one boy could literally be used as a barrier to defend everyone. But yeah, you could have guessed it. The hallways don't really work for him anymore. Bro literally has to walk sideways now. Cursed. But yeah, in this video, I'm going to be making some of the weirdest and most cursed Lego creations that might actually just keep you up at night. I mean, I literally can't fall asleep anymore because of this video. So prepare yourself to see some really cursed things. Okay, so this is something that we don't really think about, but Lego actually puts quite a lot of attention to detail in their minifigs. Like, for example, the fact that the arms are slightly bent and have an elbow, which makes them look more natural and human. But what happens if we do try to straighten them out? Don't worry, this doesn't hurt the minifig at all. Yo, my boy looks like a Minecraft character now. Or we could turn at arms 90 degrees and now we have a T-posing minifig. If this isn't nightmare fuel, then I don't know what is. Straight up cursed. So when just walking around your house, you can usually spot a rogue huh? Lego brick on the floor that's just waiting for you to stand on it. And then you can just simply dodge it. But what if we add some legs to a brick? So it will literally follow your every step and always try to end up underneath you. There's no other option but to just accept the fact that you will be standing on bricks all your life now. Ouch. Oh yeah, because we hit 100k subscribers, I actually have started building the giant Lego minifig. One of these parts takes like 20 hours to 3D print, but it will be done soon. So if you want to see the reveal video later this month, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the upload. Okay, so another thing that we could do with a normal minifig is to shuffle the colors of each part, which means that now his face is blue with a yellow torso and some red trousers. Hey yo, is this what Lego looks like in an alternate universe? Or we can spin the color wheel once more and end up with a red face, a blue torso, and... Bruh. Yeah, now he just looks like a really angry minifig who's not wearing any pants. This one is looking real sussy. Yikes. This is just a normal Lego brick. Psych, it's actually got really, really long studs, but it still works as intended. It just leaves a bit more of a gap between the bricks. And to be honest, I can't really think when this could be useful. Maybe if we shorten the studs a little bit and turn the brick green and then add some wiggly wiggles to it, we could use it to create some thick grass pieces. Or maybe do this if you want to freak someone out because they do look kind of gross. And we can have different length brick studs as well, like the one minifig tall studs, the five minifig tall studs, and the 10 minifig tall studs. And in theory, we could keep going on forever. That was cursed. So most plants need water and sunlight to stay alive and be healthy. But well, we definitely have the water part in the UK from all the rain. But the sun, not so much. But imagine what would happen if someone forgot to water the Lego plants. Yep, they'd turn into droopy plants. If you wanted to see what sadness looks like, then this is it. Or if we change the color, we can make it look like it's some weird cursed pasta grown out of the ground. Huh? And it doesn't taste good, trust me. Cursed. What if we grab a normal Lego car, remove the wheels and instead replace them with legs. That's gotta be the best way to save them fuel money. Instead, the car now runs on pure glizzy power. Same as me, to be honest. So the fastest a human being can run is around 27 miles per hour. And because we have four pairs of legs, that makes this car top speed at around 108 miles per hour. And we can easily make that number much higher by just adding more legs. And whenever you want to park your car, it will simply just sit down. Honestly, why do the cars from the movie not have legs? That would have been so much more realistic. Lightning McCursed. And since we now have a lot of spare hot dogs, we can grab a Lego Snowman and take off his carrot nose and instead replace it with a fresh glizzy. Bro must be hungry all the time now because all he can smell is hot dog goodness. Hey yo, stop, that's his nose, you can't eat it. Cursed. And on the topic of food, we can also grab a cheeseburger, but swap the ingredients around so instead we end up with a beast churger. Honestly, I think that's how all burgers should come by default. And we can actually ask the expert of food if he likes it. <laughs> Already? This beast churger is busting. See, I told you it's good, but whoever eats cursed food, it will actually make them cursed as well. So now Scoob has a normal mini thick head. Okay, now things are getting very weird. Like Zoink Scoob. But anyway, so we all know how Lego helicopters work. You pick it up, start spinning the propeller and fly around. But this is a reverse helicopter where everything else spins apart from the propeller. Any minifigs inside of this thing will literally experience fighter jet level g-forces. Yikes. Dizzingly cursed. And this minifig didn't download enough RAM to his body so his face ended up being very pixelated. What the hell? And then if he wants to change his clothes, they'll actually be pixelated too. But I'm not gonna lie, this boy still has some low res drip. Bruh, even the hair pieces are pixelated. This is the scissors that the barber be using. Cursed. Wait, what the heck guys? It's a creeper. And in my last cursed video, I actually made him look more human and gave him some arms. Well, if we combine a creeper and a minifig, we end up with this. I think bro ate too much broccoli. So yeah, it actually kind of looks like those Minecraft creeper skins that people would use back in the day. Hey yo, does it explode though? Uh, nah, I don't think so.
that hurt. This is a normal Lego brick, except it's actually cut in half. So it's literally just half a brick, but it still works as it should and you can still build with it. So now instead of being called a Lego brick, it's actually just Le Brick. 50% cursed. And this is the longest Lego brick ever. And you probably want to know how long it actually is. Well, it's infinite, bigger than the universe itself. In fact, it's so big, it's almost bigger than your mom. That was cursed. All right, anyway, so I actually have these light up bricks that I bought for my products video and they look really cool when it's dark. I was wondering, what if we placed a minifig head on top of one of them? That's pretty cool. What if we tried a more creepy head like this possessed pizza delivery minifig? Damn, now we're talking. This is quite cursed indeed. I'm scared. Okay, so next I decided to make a YouTube post on my channel and ask you guys to see what crazy ideas you may have to help me make the most cursed things in Lego. All right, so let's see what the first one is. Small head. Um, okay, so we can just grab the minifig's head and start shrinking it down. Now we just got to place it back on. Hang on, I actually have to get rid of the original neck first. And there we go. Small head. Okay, the next one. Destroy with a hammer. Okay, well, this is a strange request. Are you satisfied? Are you happy now? A Lego minifig with just arms for limbs. The arms holding more arms, which are holding more arms. All right, let's just start adding arms, I guess. Yo, this is looking wild. I don't know why, but it actually kind of looks satisfying. Bro is always going to be able to scratch his own back now. What happens if he straightens his arms? Yeah, I actually think that just might have made it even more cursed. I'm not going to lie. A minifig with a tiny body, but giant head and 10 faces. Okay, so we've got a tiny minifig baby body. Then we can slap on the baby head, but start increasing the scale. Guys, this is what happens to your head if you inhale too much helium. This is what someone with 10 IQ looks like. And this is the Chad 200 IQ big brain minifig. Bro's brain is just made up of Wikipedia pages. Oh yeah, I forgot. We also need to add 10 faces onto the head. So let's just copy the original one and start pasting it everywhere. This has got to be one of the strangest things I've made. And next we have a minifigure with lots of legs. Simple enough. Let's just add in this blue brick to the torso and then start clicking in some leg pieces. All right, so in total, this bloke ended up with eight legs. Bro, I wonder how fast he can run now. We've got making a Lego minifig out of Lego bricks. Hi, bet bro. Well, there you go. That's a minifig made out of bricks. Hey, yo, if you squint your eyes enough, it kind of looks like an actual minifig. Next, we have upside down head on a minifig. All right, so we just have to open a texture for its face, rotate this, slap it on, and bosh. I hope you like it. This is getting trippy now. Bruh, now we can even attach an extra upside down minifig body to it and make it even more cursed. Oh, this is quite a good one. The burnt minifigure. Okay, so we're going to sacrifice this poor Lego knockoff minifig for this. What the heck? You can actually hear it sizzling. How about a minifig with 100 eyes? All right, so let's just open a face texture again and start copying and pasting a bunch of his eyes. Okay, so this should be 100 eyes on a single minifig, but I think they look too uniform and symmetrical right now. So let's quickly try messing them up a little bit. Okay, I actually think I kind of made it look worse now. I honestly might not be able to fall asleep tonight after looking at this. Can you imagine though what your vision would look like if you had 100 eyes on your face? Bro literally takes a screenshot every time he blinks. All right, next we've got a minifigure, but with really long legs and a long neck. So we can start by selecting the lower part of his legs. And then we can use all of our strength to start stretching them out a little bit. Guys, do you think his legs are long enough now? Look how much bigger his step is compared to a standard minifig. Now time for the neck. So we can take off his head, grab the top part of the neck, and also just start stretching it. Then pop the head back on. Okay, that is a long neck. Bro, the minifig is so tall that he doesn't even fit in the frame anymore. And this is what he looks like compared to a normal sized minifig. His head is so high up, he literally experiences different weather than everyone else. And he low-key looks so goofy even when he's just walking. So this person wants a cockroach and a human hide. I don't think that's how we spell cockroach. Okay, so for this next one, we need to grab a cockroach and a minifig and somehow combine them together. All right, so actually, how many legs do cockroaches even have? Six. So I just stacked three torso pieces together. Then I used a couple of plate pieces so that we can actually add a back to this creature. Then let's adjust the colors to make them look more like an insect. But now he should be able to crawl around the walls in your house and look very creepy while doing so. Cockroaches are actually also very squash resistant. So let's see if he can survive the foot. Yeah, he doesn't care at all and he's still smiling. I definitely wouldn't want this creature running around my house. All right, next up, we've got a minifig built like a spider, but it's still a human. So I started by taking off everything that we don't need. Then I worked on a torso and tried to recreate that spider back. Hey, yo, he looking kind of thick. And now is the time to increase the cursed levels even more and add in eight legs using some skeleton arms. But they kind of look too chunky right now. So I made them look extra slender and creepy. Yeah, if you don't like spiders, then you're probably hating this right now. I'm sorry. Then I also wanted to add some spider features to his face. So I added in a couple of fangs and he kind of looks cute, not gonna lie. Last 
thing we can do is add some web that he can actually hang from. And our man spider is ready to fight any criminals that might come his way. And obviously deliver the tasty pizza to the local minifigs whenever he's got free time. Yo, bro, give me a slice, please. So then someone wants me to make a realistic minifigure. All right, so I actually already made this one in my last curse video, but this time I want to make it even better. We need to make it so realistic that if you place it side by side next to a picture of a real human, you won't be able to tell the difference. Okay, so let's get started. So first, I want to take care of these blocky legs. Blocky legs are good if you exist in the Minecraft universe, but in real life, legs have muscle definition and actual shape to them. So I began sculpting, and after way too much time staring at legs, I finally finished my masterpiece. <clears throat> it kind of just looks like someone melted it. But after duplicating it to the other side, we can slap on a jeans material, and the legs are looking fresh. Now let's add some definition to the torso. So I want to make the minifig look buff, but I'm not really that good at 3D sculpting, so this is what I came up with. This is what peak performance human body shape looks like. Then let's add some big muscles to the arms, and then we can add some clothing material to the whole thing. Okay, and now the standard Lego hands look out of place, so I spent a bit of time fixing them as well. Perfect, that's ultra realistic now. My god, what have I actually created? But now this is the moment that we've all been waiting for, the head. So I downloaded a suitable reference model and started chiseling away at the minifig's face. Honestly, this whole process made me feel like I was creating some Greek god statue. And to be honest, it's not far off. Bruh, he Loki looks so empty and soulless inside. But in my opinion, our realistic minifig came out looking like an actual piece of art. So yeah, leave your cursed Lego ideas in the comments below, and I'll try to make as many of them as I can in the next part. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>